Alright guys, welcome to Daily Love with Mill Hollow. I'm your host, Mill himself. And today we're just going to talk about fate and luck. Two things that at times can play in hand. So relax, chill, and get comfy because we're going to dive in. Now, I know for a fact that I have had times where I've felt unlucky. And particularly this year, there's been a lot of things that have happened... And I started to feel like my luck was really going down. Now, the thing about luck is that you always have hope. But you will notice more that you have, let's say, like, bad luck or just that your luck isn't as good when you're focusing on the negative. And that can come from depression at times. But a big part of being depressed is that you don't see the positive all the time. You may seem happy, but you're not. And that is exactly why people will feel unlucky. Now, uh, how I would fix this, personally, is I would just try to see, hey, what about other people? What are they going through? You know? And if you have people around you, you could be like, hey, mom, what's up? Oh, I just had a bad day at work. Or something like that. Like, they could say something like that, and I'd be like, Oh, you know what? I just thought about it, and my day actually wasn't so bad. Because you realize that there are people out there with worse problems going on. And it's not that your problems are irrelevant. Your problems matter a lot. It's just that you got to realize that things could always be worse. And you should be glad that they aren't worse. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. So yeah, just keep that in mind with like with whatever you're doing in your life. Just keep that in mind in the future, and you can always improve yourself because of that. Like part of being negative and being depressed is that you're going to have negative responses to things, and having this bad luck and all that stuff. It when you think about it, it all boils down to perspective. Like I was saying, and when you take that perspective and you make it more positive, you start to notice that things aren't so bad. And with that, you will start to become more positive and treat others better. You may not even realize that you're treating them badly sometimes when you're depressed. It just kind of comes off negative, and that makes them feel bad about themselves. Which in turn can lead to fights, and that's no, that's not fun. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to have fights, so... Just keep that in mind that like you can always have a better outlook in the end. Now with fate, that, that ties back into luck. Is that basically when you make an action or choice that your fate is decided. That whatever happens next is depending on your actions. Now, I can say, sure, part of that is probably true. I, I know for a fact that most things are chain reactions of other choices that people make. But particularly speaking... I feel like this year at the very start, and I'm not going to get to details because it's personal, but I had a breakup at the start of the year, and it traumatized me because I was in a two-year-long relationship, and it really messed me up. And I thought, you know what? I'll never be happy again. This is the end. But it wasn't because... I convinced myself that I actually sought out guidance and help, and I'm actually glad that I did because I ended up reuniting with, reuniting with a very close friend of mine, uh, who you all may know as Lupe, um, and he's been very supportive of me since. Who, in turn, has started to be on less, but there was one cameo that I remember he made, and that was very nice. So overall, I would I would definitely say that p- people in general, being around people, can help improve your mood. And I don't know who you are. I don't know what your deal is. You you could be a total introvert and I want nothing to do with people, which is fine. It's just you should have someone, someone to talk to. And that's the whole deal is having someone to talk to about your problems so that way you don't get overwhelmed and get depressed. Because depression can come from that. Or like, 
you're not thinking about the problems that are going on, but you're feeling overwhelmed and you may not even realize it, which can lead to depressive thoughts. And I know that when I thought about it for a while, it was it was overwhelming in times, and I would start to like melt down. And I found that I cried a lot more because of that. And I don't do that as much. I've actually grown quite a lot since then. But I find that with with the crying was that it was letting out the emotions, and that can be a lot of help. So like if you're feeling overwhelmed with the situation and it makes you feel depressed. Just let it out. Don't hold back your tears. I can I cannot stress this enough. Holding back your tears can lead to even more stress. And nobody wants to be more stressed. Nobody wants that. So yeah. Just keep keep that in mind in the future. Um now you you're also probably thinking, oh what else about fate? Like fate when people think of fate they think of like impending doom. In my opinion, nothing is set sealed. You always have an opportunity to redeem yourself as long as you are alive. It's just whether or not you choose to take that chance that affects whether or not you actually succeed. And that is a big part of it. Big, big part. Well, right now, I just feel that there's like no point really to like quite make things set in stone. They're like, oh, this is a live stream. People need to join. It's not about that when you think about it. Like, I feel like the reason behind this and why I'm doing this is so you guys can take my advice into mind because I have had depression myself for the longest while this year. And it really affected me. I really felt down, but I got back up. And that shows that you can get back up too. That just proves that as long as you put your mind to it, as long as you actually take effort to become better, you can become better. There's always hope for you, as long as you take it. And uh, also, from experience, with school and education and and jobs, do not bring it up there. I wouldn't bring it out there. Like, if you're feeling like crying, that is not the right place to be. And you should let your boss know. Or your teacher or somebody. Just don't sit there and let it fester because that is not good it just leads to a lot more things and i mean like i personally would be humiliated if i got if i burst into tears in front of people i would personally be very distraught about it because i would feel very embarrassed i don't know about you you may be completely based and have no concern whatsoever for this but it's just a point i'm trying to make so yeah I hope that sort of cleared things up. A little bit. Just just a little bit. Now, this is just a, an intro stream. I just wanted to tell you guys about this. But yeah, this stream is basically going towards a podcast. Which is going to be going towards a bigger thing. Which I will probably have guests periodically to join me. But at the moment, this is basically just me. Um, Daily Love is a podcast that I am creating that will go towards... A fundraiser for mental health and a fundraise for for depression and just people getting treatment and actual health support. Whether that be in like America or places where they don't receive free health care, I don't know. But I just, I know that that is my plan is to hopefully get people to fundraise so they can provide money for charity. Anyways, I, I just thought I'd bring that up as well. But Daily Love is a podcast featuring me, Mill Hollow the host, who is going to talk to you about depression and how to get through it, through past experiences and other details, kind of like this entire episode here. But I hope that kind of sums things up for you guys. I'm not sure. But I think that this is a good start. I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe learned a few things, and I will see you guys in the next video. And just remember, to love yourself, because you, yes you, there's only one you. You cannot r- repair that. You cannot become reborn. Unless, like, I don't know. I'm not going to say you can't be reborn. I'm just going to say that you can't be reborn as yourself. There is no reset button. Suicide is not a way out. Do not turn to suicide. Killing yourself is not 
the solution to solving depression, to solving stress, any of it. Because you you will regret it, trust me. If you died, you would regret it. And I like to think that a lot of people have enough self-preservation and bravery to not do that. Because that is the coward's way out. Thank you for listening to this episode of Daily Love. And I will see you guys next time.